The Functional Materials Laboratory over at ETH Zurich have 3D printed a silicone heart that actually has a heartbeat. This 3D printed heart is a first of its kind. Using Siemens CAD software and the HP DesignJet 3D printer, they were able to print a soft artificial heart. They are using the 3D heart to compare it to a human's pumping heart by running it through a system of pneumatically driven mock tests. They have built an additional chamber inside the heart which drives the pump. They got the heart to pump properly for roughly 30 minutes, proving that the heart chambers can be artificially created. A team at the University of Melbourne are developing 3D printed self-healing gels. They hope that maybe one day this technology can be implemented into phone screens. Over time, any cracked screen would repair itself. They are using a water-based gel called FEMA. To test the gel's self-healing abilities, they made a deep cut in the jelly sea star, activated it with an organic compound found in cinnamon, then after 30 minutes the cut heals itself. Another 30 minutes later and the star becomes fully solid. 3D printing with water-based FEMA gels could be a step forward in the manufacturing of future smart objects. From over 449 student entries, Danny Claude won the engineering category for the 3D Hubs grant with her 3D printed third thumb project. The third thumb is 3D printed with flexible filament and rigid plastic from the Form 2 printer. The thumb is controlled with a Bluetooth sensor located in the wearer shoe. The signal is sent to the motors on the wrist to move the prosthetic. Claude explained earlier this month, the third thumb instigates necessary conversation about the definition of ability. The origin of the word prosthesis meant to add, put onto. So not to fix or replace, but to extend. The third thumb is inspired by this word origin, exploring human augmentation and aiming to reframe prosthetics as extensions of the body.